This is the Barbershop Show. One thing about teaching media to uh, children and to, to anybody is that it empowers a person to tell their story and to talk about things that are of interest to them and to their community. And my, my point is that until we start telling our own stories, people will make it up. Right, so then the parents, the, the students, the educators, I mean, one of the largest public protests actually in, in Chicago's history um, took place and they walked, they walked through, you know, the loop and, uh, and you know, started, you know, um, some big civil rights um, protests in, in the city related to that initial 63 boycott. Um, Gordon Quinn was, uh, he's our artistic director, our founder. He was a young filmmaker at the time. He videoed some of that footage and no one's used it at all for 50 years now. Um, so we are uh, now making that into a film and we're building a website and we're hoping to get people who are involved in that boycott to look at the photos and the footage we have from that day and identify themselves and share some stories with us and it'll be a kind of a collaborative community documentary that we're going to make. Yeah, for Diverse Voices in Docs we're looking for emerging filmmakers of color um, who have probably completed at least one uh, project that could be a short or a feature um, but we want to show that you've taken something from an idea to um, distribution uh, at least once um, because we're looking for people who want to make a career of being a documentary filmmaker in Chicago. Well, tell me a, a, bit about, a bit about your interest and what you did during your, or if you're still involved with the West Side Writing Project. What did you write about? Um, I started out writing about like community issues like violence, what affects our community and like basically what I can write about to let our community know like what's going on. Being involved with the West Side Writing Project has changed my life dramatically because before this I was basically lost and didn't know what I was going to do for my future. So being with the West Side Writing Project helped me basically plan my future in the career of journalism or media. I want to um, continue my studies in digital media and the New York Film Academy and Universal Studios Hollywood and pretty much this has helped me, this has paved the way to what I want to do in my life.